Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Academy. In this video, we will learn how to find the number of bags of cement that will be required in order to concrete a certain volume of the concrete. <music> Suppose that you got a slab. So you got a slab that you have to concrete. So uh, the length of the slab is 5 meters the breadth is 4 meters and uh, the thickness of the slab is uh, 125 mm that is 0. Point, uh, let's take 150 mm 150 meters 0 0.150 meters so you have to uh, concrete this slab and uh, you want to know the number of bags that will be required in order to prepare the concrete for this slab so what you have to do is that first you have to find the volume of this concrete this volume that you will be finding is the dry volume so this is the final output that you need okay so this is 5 meters this is 4 meters and this is 0 0.150 meters this is the final volume of the slab or the concrete that you need so this volume is called as the dry volume because it is in the dry state so dry volume this is equal to is equal to 5 into 4 into so length times breadth times the height or thickness 0 0.150 so this is equal to so let me use the calculator so this is equal to 5 into 4 into 0 0.15 into so it's 3 meter cube so this is 3 meter cube okay so this is the value of the dry volume so what is the process of concreting so what you do is that so you got cement you got sand you got aggregate you got water what do you do you mix these elements in certain ratio so uh, this ratio determines the strength of your concrete and accordingly the concrete is graded so let us suppose that the grade of this concrete is m20 in this case the cement is one the cement is always one sand is 1.5 and aggregate the ratio of aggregate is 3 so when you individually mix these items and prepare a mix that volume is called as the weight volume so you prepare the mix okay so this is your mix and you place your concrete on the slab so the formwork is already placed and you place the concrete and you level it after a certain time this concrete will dry and on drying it will shrink so uh, this is the final shrinkage product that we have 5 meter 4 meter and 0 0.150 so which means that so if this is the shrinked value it means that this is the original value the original value is always greater than the shrinked value so this is the shrinked value this is the original value and this is greater than the volume of this is greater than this value okay because this is the product of shrinkage of this item that is here that is the mix okay so this is the weight mix so the weight mix is 1.54 times so 1.54 times greater than the dry mix so this volume that we prepare uh, during the concrete mix is 1.54 times the volume that we get after the concrete is dry this is due to the shrinkage so we have to find the weight volume so weight volume is so weight volume is 1.54 times 3 because it is greater so this 3 is due to the shrinkage of this uh, this value okay so this volume of concrete so 1.54 times 3 so let me get it so let's do AC 1.54 times 3 the value is 4.62 so it's 4.4.62 meter cube okay this is the weight volume and based on this weight volume we will get the quantity of cement not on this volume okay so now uh, we got the weight volume and we got the ratio ratio of m20 grade of concrete now what we'll do is that based on that ratio we'll find the amount or the volume of cement so volume of cement is 
volume of cement is equal to uh, the total volume of the concrete that is that needs to be prepared is 4.62 so we have to divide 4.62 by the proportion so the proportion is 1 1.53 so we have to add these 1 plus 1.5 plus 3 and we have to multiply by the proportion of the cement that is 1 so this is how you get the volume of cement that is used in this volume of concrete so that is used to prepare this volume of concrete so uh, let's move on so let us find this uh, value so this is equal to so let me use the calculator okay so I'll use the fraction so it's 4.62 below is okay, let's go down it's 1 plus 1.5 plus 3 so times 1 is 1 it's equal to 0 0.84 so this is equal to 0 0.84 meter cube so step 4 so we know that we know that uh, the density of so density of cement is cement is 1440 kg per meter cube so which means that 1 meter cube of cement has got 1440 kg of cement so uh, now let us find the weight of this volume of concrete so 1 meter cube of cement has got how much weight 1440 kg so why we are doing this we will know later it means that 0 0.84 meter cube of cement has got 1440 times 0 0.84 so this is equal to so let's do AC 1440 times 0 0.84 enter so it's equal to 1209.6 so it's equal to 1209.6 kg so this much volume of concrete ha cement has got this much of weight 1209.6 we know that each bag of cement has got each sorry each bag of cement has got 50 kg so one bag of cement is equal to 50 kg so so how many bags will it take for 120.9 kg simply what we have to do we have to divide 12090.6 by 50 so what i have done here is that let me explain again okay so as we know that okay so as we know that one bag of cement is equal to 50 kg two bags 100 three three bags 150 four bags 400 kg if we divide 400 by 50 then we get four so which means that 400 kg of cement makes four bag of cement because we have divided by the weight of one kg similarly if we divide one to 0 0.9.6 by 50 we will get the value of number of bags of cement that can contain this much of weight so this is equal to so this divided by if we do 50 that is equal to 24.192 24.192 let us say nearly equal to 24 bags so now we know that for concreting that slab we will use 24 bags so we will use 24 bags so there are alternative options that you can use this is a very depth calculation so what you can do is what you can do is so what you can do is so uh, the volume of the concrete uh, that you have to make is 3 meter cube that you got so for M20 
so with practice uh, you will learn this so for m20 number of bags of cement required to prepare one meter cube of dry so dry volume of concrete is equal to eight bags this is eight bags okay so one meter cube of dry so one meter cube of dry concrete to prepare this you need eight bags for m20 grade of concrete which means that for three meter cube of concrete you need 8 into 3 is equal to 24 bags so same answer you got with two steps uh, another uh, is so the uh, so the volume of cement that we got was 0 0.84 meter cube so this is the step number three so 0 0.84 meter cube of cement we require for uh, this much of dry volume of concrete from density value what we get is so you can get the, you can make the calculations by yourself so what we get is that one meter cube of cement has got one meter cube of cement can be contained in 28.8 bags which means that 0 0.84 meter cube of cement can be contained in 28.8 times 0 0.84 so let us multiply this Twenty-eight point eight into zero point eight four, which gives twenty-four point one nine two. The value that we got over there. This is equal to twenty-four point one nine two, or nearly equal to twenty-four. So uh, from here also you can get the value directly. So zero point eight four meter cube of con cement that we require for three meter cube of dry concrete of M twenty is contained in twenty-four point one nine two bags because one meter cube of cement is contained in 28.8 bags so this is how you get the number of bags of cement required to concrete any slab any beam or any column or any structural member that you want to concrete or that you want to cast hope this video was helpful thank you for watching and take care